screen. It says this meeting is being recorded. Somebody. Oh, there we go. There's the backyard. So you can also pin that. If you double click on their picture, it will pin it to your main screen. Okay. Who's that? Cousin Heidi. Oh, okay. Oh, Hi, okay. Donna. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Donna. Good. So cool you guys are joining in. Hey. Mom will be on too. So you can pin somebody. If you want to pin um, their backyard, that will happen. If they are presenting like they are now, that will automatically come up for everybody. And whatever you have pinned will minimize. You'll see it in the upper corner. Well, on the phone, it's an upper corner. Okay. They can make people additional hosts if they want to, and they can mute everybody else, but it just depends on how they have Zoom set up and how they set up this meeting. <laughs> but uh, they won't yeah. automatically just show up on the main screen. Yeah, I think we're going to bring everyone for the beginning. Okay, <laughs> hey, see? That's Cousin Jack. Hi, Cousin Jack. I don't think he can. Oh, hey. Sweetie. Oh, <laughs> he did hear you. How's it going? Uh, I can't. Okay. Oops. Are we starting? We got some glasses too. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh wait. Yeah, where's glasses? Okay, well, then we need to move yeah, Rodney. Yeah, but well, you don't need to worry. Right. You have to be in charge of that. Hi, Mom. Hi. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. He's talking to Don. If you tap your screen and click on participants, you can see everybody who's on as well. So Rodney is going to go off screen. Oh, wait, that's it. That. There's Uncle Larry. So Kalika is the host. I know. So, uh. Remember? Oh, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, shot. Jack is the commencement speaker. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Let's see, professionals. That in the mic right there. I can Iron. see. Can you see us? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, Michael. I can indeed. Yeah, but you're just a little postage stamp in my right corner. I can't see. I can't. I lost all that participant camera. If you just tap your screen, you should yeah. see a participants along the bottom or the top, depending on which device you're using. Okay. Or if you scroll to the left or to the right, you should get a different view. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. Hang tough, everyone. There. Mary. Mary. Well, I, I'm going to have to do, but I. Hi, yay. Yeah, you can sit. And then if you want to take some photos, because we're going to come in from that end. So Kalika is the host. If you double tap her screen, it will pin for anybody who wants to keep that at the forefront of their device. I don't know what, you're, what you mean. Mom, you're on at your iPad? Yeah. Just tap twice. Just tap on the outside photo there. So that, um, what do you mean outside photo? Aunt Donna's Ooh, place. Oh, oh, thing. Okay, got it. Thank you, Thank Heidi, you. for all your coaching. <laughs> Larry. I just recognize your voice. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> Am I starting the camera? Are we starting now? I think we're just uh, almost ready. Spencer's I'm ready. just trying to get the video on the ceremony. Right in here. And I it's 
Like, right. but usually, like, so you get it. Do you get it right before they have you do that? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start it. Okay. Uh, here, I'm the answer. Oh, you're the single one. Uh, hi. Okay. <laughs> it's on. Are we going? <laughs> yeah, we're going. Oh, All right, wait. we're live. Do you want me to Hold show? On. That because I no. can't. Wow. No, I'm taking pictures. No, you got to get in there. You got to get in there. They're doing a ceremonial walk. A lot of teeny trees. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. All right. So, so Jen. I'm gonna, I, I okay, are you muting going. everyone? Okay, I'm going to mute everyone. No, I'm not. I don't know how. <laughs> Ask Heidi. <laughs> yeah, Heidi will know. If, if you go to the part. If you go to the participants tab, there will be a button for Kalika because she's the host that says mute all. <laughs> Done. All right. Okay, now we're we're good. Heidi, you're a rock star. <laughs> she can't hear me. She can hear me. She can hear you. <laughs> no, you can hear me. Can't just start. So I just take pictures. Wait a second, no. So I'm gonna walk behind Larry and you go towards the stage that way and then you guys are gonna walk, follow me and then well, I guess you'll yeah. go to the stage and then they will go to their seats. Yeah, that sounds good. The follow, my, follow where I, my path, okay? I'm gonna set this down and then uh, Jack will go to the stage. You guys will follow him and then you'll sit down. Okay. All right. Oh wait, here, who's um, it doesn't matter, they can't see you. Well, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Discuss. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today to get through this thing called COVID-19. Electric word life, it means forever. And that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you there's something else. Go crazy. Prince lyrics aside, I'm very pleased to welcome the class of 2020 graduates, proud parents, online viewers, to the backyard Commencement ceremony for the San Jose State University, Charles W. Davidson College of Engineering. My name is Jack Fogelquist, SJSU alum and perpetual student, and it is my pleasure to open today's festivities. As we begin, please stand and face the flag as Beyonce sings our national anthem. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take your seats. Hmm? Today is the most important and sacred day of the academic year. It's the culmination of years of hard work, determination, and perseverance. It's one of the defining moments of your lives, a day that will remain etched in your memory forever. Your lives and the lives of those closest to you are about to be transformed. Graduates, you have successfully completed some of the most challenging oops, programs at SJSU, and you are about to receive one of the most sought after degrees in Silicon Valley. You are why the college, the Davidson College of Engineering is the largest and most favored contributor to the Silicon Valley workforce. Your degree is proof that you have acquired the knowledge and most definitely, definitely the work ethic necessary to start making contributions to our society. A monumental accomplishment. The university faculty, your families and friends are all very, very proud of you. Today we also recognize the parents, families, and friends, whether attending here in person or virtually, for their loving support on this long and arduous journey. You've offered a roof over these graduates' heads, countless warm meals, and even more caring words of support, especially when they needed them most. Today, we also say thank you to the faculty and staff who work tirelessly to teach, mentor, and support these graduates. We appreciate your passion, commitment, and hard work, especially amidst the challenges of this pandemic. And graduates, we are immensely proud of you and your accomplishments. We know you will be superb engineers who will work to assuage the many hardships of our society. Today, you join a dynamic and inspiring group of Davidson College of Engineering alumni. We're counting on you to reshape the future of technology, the future of Silicon Valley, and the future of our world. One hot dog stand or homebrew at a time. <laughs> Your future indeed looks very bright, so much so that some may say you need to wear shades. For this, we have so much to celebrate, and I extend my warmest congratulations to all of you. I am now privileged and delighted to introduce this year's Davidson College of Engineering commencement speaker, Jack Vogelquist. Can I pause? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. What's the problem? Okay, What's... there's a bunch of people that are trying on YouTube that can't get it. Oh, yeah, we oh, can okay. pause. <laughs> okay. Thank you for letting me know. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you can't get YouTube, then... I'm going to fix it right now. Oh, they're not missing much. But... Sorry, I put it on the wrong screen. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> good. Are we good? Are we getting it? Hey guys, sorry about it. <laughs> no, I know, I know a fawn. That's actually a group member of my senior program. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the 
Is there enough internet? No, no. Um, if I could give him the, the Zoom ID, but the, I, I could the, the invitation wouldn't go out on text. Okay. So, uh, so I can just, can you have it right there? The Zoom? The Zoom ID. Okay. Zoom ID. Okay. You ready? Yeah. It's 931. Nine seven zero nine four seven zero nine four five one five four five one five four password twenty twenty. Gianna's yawning over here. Give me an area. Password is twenty twenty. That's right. My family's like, what's going on? Now they're all sitting confused. <laughs> Can you see everyone? Yeah. No, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Apparently. I told you we should have filled up that martini glass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the supper. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the problem was that I sent the, the invitation by a text, and it wouldn't send by a text. Okay. Hmm. And I'm like, what? Well, so then I, can we keep going? I yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, got to yeah, keep going. Is, yeah? All right. Okay. Yeah, we're, we got to. We have people leaving in 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'll try to make it brief. Don't make it brief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a very special day indeed. I was thinking of beginning this address with congratulations. You've crossed the finish line. But I feel that this would be inaccurate. As a cyclist, there's a special moment of every ride when, after a long, steep, and grueling climb, you reach the top of the mountain. The view is magnificent. Your weary body finally gets the rest it has been fantasizing over, and you anticipate the, grass, the, excuse me, the fast and gravity-fueled descent that you've worked so hard for. The future looks bright. Today is that moment. Graduates, you've toiled up the mountain for years and have finally reached the summit. Today is the day that the tables are turned. Instead of paying money for college tuition, companies who long for your specialized skill set will eagerly pay you. Instead of working on textbook problems that may at times seem irrelevant or unrealistic, you will soon have the rewarding experience of solving real and tangible engineering problems crafting solutions that directly improve the lives of others. Instead of frantically seeking clarity in professors' office hours, coworkers and clients will soon seek your expertise. However, the degree you are each about to receive means far more than expertise. It is an indication of your ability to learn, a skill that you can apply to anything in life, like brewing beer or painting watercolors. It is an indication of your work ethic, your newfound power of consecutive all-nighters is powerful, but should be exercised responsibly. It is an indication of your resourcefulness and cunning. You found creative and efficient paths through a myriad of obstacles before you. It is an indication of your collectedness, an ability to look beyond impossibly unclear assignment requirements to forge a suitable solution. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, it is an indication of your persistence and determination. Allow me to illustrate. To get to this moment, you have made the decision to pursue a college degree, the first step on a long and daunting journey. You've persevered through the nerve wracking decision of selecting a major. You've completed all of your general education coursework, battled through your major specific coursework, 
switched majors, and completely started over. Transferred to a four-year university after that, where you commuted each over 15,000 miles, which is further than traveling from here to China and back, through conditions like rain, mudslides, and even snow. You've navigated a series of advising sessions, survived the rigors of upper division coursework, and successfully completed your senior projects. You've consumed tens of thousands of milligrams of caffeine, and even persevered through campus closures due to smoke from surrounding wildfires. Not even a global pandemic could stop you. One measure of this persistence is the time you've each devoted to these degrees. Spencer, you spent eight years on this path, delving deep into the study of kinesiology before switching to chemical engineering. It takes a lot of bravery to switch degrees after investing so much, but you pursued what felt right, and I'm sure you'll be happier for it. Kalika, you've been at it for 11 years, first as a math major, then as a Spanish major, then English, aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, and finally as a civil engineer. What's more, you had the courage not only to be the first in your family to pursue an engineering degree, but the first in your family to earn a college degree. You're a true pioneer and your embrace of the unknown will take you far. Another clear measure of your persistence is the sheer difficulty that you endured through the back-to-back -back exams, seemingly impossible project deadlines, lengthy presentations, oral defenses, rigorous senior projects, challenging group dynamics, and all the accompanying all-nighters. Remember the times when your study desk transformed into a treacherous battlefield, when the keys of your laptop felt like the helm of a storm-swept ship when you opened that munchy meal at 3 a.m. in the library. You pressed on and have entered into an unspoken camaraderie shared by all engineers, one that reaches beyond age, experience, and background. You've made it out to the other side. This leads me to a few parting words, as is the custom of every commencement address. Number one, try not to forget what you've been through. Not only will this strengthen you in the challenges that lay ahead, but it will help you to share the support that you've received. Number two, try to anticipate the future while remaining flexible. Preparation will serve you well, but clinging too tightly to your plans will keep you from new and often profound experiences. And finally, number three, cling to humility and gratitude. These will help you to maintain perspective and discern what is truly important as you move forward. So as you move forward, in the words of SJSU President, Dr. Mary Papazian, you are well equipped to brighten your future, the futures of your families, our future, and even the futures of generations unborn. Whether it feels like it or not, you do possess the power to change lives. Use it. My sincerest congratulations again. I'm immensely proud of you both and cannot wait to see what the future has in store. Spartan up. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. It is now time for the presentation of the candidates. For the respect of all the candidates, we ask that no one attempts to leave early during the presentation. I have the pleasure of presenting the students who have completed the requirements for a baccalaureate degree from the Charles W. F. Davidson College of Engineering. Would all the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please approach the stage when called? Now presenting the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, Spencer Scott Fogelquist. Congratulations. Thank you. Take the picture. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Now presenting the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Kalika Tene Diaz. Woo! 
Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Congratulations to the bachelor's candidates. I am honored to certify that those candidates who have just crossed the stage have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their degrees. It is now time to confer their degrees. Will all the members of the class of 2020 who are candidates for degrees please stand. Members of the graduating class of San Jose State University, on the recommendation of the faculty of this university and by the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the board of trustees of the California State University system, I now confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degree with all the attendant rights, responsibilities, and distinctions. Baccalaureate candidates, please move your tassels from the right to the left to symbolize the completion of your degrees. Now please join the graduates in standing as the SJSU choral program leads us in singing our alma mater, Hail Spartans Hail. <laughs> We are finally there. I'd like to extend one last heartfelt congratulation to each of you. Way to go. Now I ask that you remain standing as the platform party processes from the stage. Thank you very much for attending. <laughs> That was pretty cool, huh? It's called a graduation ceremony. Thank you all for joining us and we both graduated from college. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. There they are. Let's not Donna. Hey, Donna. Thank Uncle you. Larry. <laughs> Cousin Spencer. Wait, Annika. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for being here. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats, Kalika. Congratulations. Hey, have a hug. Where are we from? We have people local, we have people across the country, and we have people across the uh, the globe. So thank you all for for uh, joining us at this time. All that was right. great. All right, we're off to drink. Lots of drinks. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>